All right, so for number six, we're saying the water surrounding Shooter's Island have long been dumping ground for, or have long been a dumping ground for ruined ships and boats. And the wreckage there has caused these waters to be exceptionally still. Okay, so we've long been dumping um, stuff here and um, all of this like stuff going on has caused the waters to be really still. And oh, ologist found that the overall abundance of water birds around Shooter's Island is similar to that around each of the neighboring islands. Okay, so this fancy person found that the overall abundance, the number of these water birds around it are similar to the number of, or the abundance of water birds around the neighboring islands, but the juvenile water birds are much more abundant around Shooter's Island than those other islands. Hmm, I wonder why the um, juvenile birds are much more abundant. So then our, I'm guessing this is gonna be our conclusion. This suggests that the still waters around Shooter's Island serve as a nursery for the juveniles. All right, so first thing I do is find my conclusion, which I did here. And then I ask myself, is this a valid argument? And I'm like, well, how do we know that the still waters are the only thing around, are the, is the, is the thing that's causing um, all of these juvenile water birds? I'm like, that makes sense to me, but what if there's another thing that's different or another thing that's causing it that's not these still waters? So then I'm gonna read my question stem. Which of the following, if true, provides the most support? So it's a strengthening question. So I know that I want a strong answer choice and I get to bring in new information that's going to help strengthen this idea that the still waters serve as a nursery for the juveniles. Um, I'm gonna predict the answer. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna like say like it's not something else that's causing it. I think that would be a great strengthener. Like if we can show that it's really like, or, ooh, or if the neighboring islands do not have still waters too. All right, A. The ruined ships and boats around Shooter's Island have been there for decades. Okay, that's all relevant. That like maybe the um just because they've been there for decades doesn't mean that it's the still waters that are serving as a nursery for these juvenile water birds. Like what if they've been there for a, a week? They could it could still be you know serving as a nursery. B the number of juvenile water birds around Shooter's Island, as well as the number around each neighboring island, does not fluctuate dramatically throughout the year. Okay, I could see this like. I don't love this answer because I don't think it's very strong. I think it strengthens it in the sense that it makes um, the argument seem more, um, maybe like the study be more valid in the sense that, hey, like this is the same throughout the whole year. Therefore, like this is always the nursery. It's not just a certain time of year, et cetera. It eliminates like um, a different variable that may be causing this, but I don't love it, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it open. C. Water birds use still waters as nurseries for juvenile. Yes, I like C because we're saying, hey, water birds actually use um, use waters as nurseries or use still waters. So yeah, I love that because it's saying like, hey, these still waters are serving as the nursery. D, the waters around the islands neighboring Shooter's Island are much rougher than the waters around Shooter's Island. Okay, so I could see how D could be tempting for some people because you're like, well, this is saying like, yeah, these other places, they're rougher and here they're more still. But just because that's the case, that doesn't mean that there's not something else that's causing it. Like this D still requires the assumption that it's the still waters that the people, that the birds are wanting for the nursery. How do we know that the nurseries want um, still water or these birds want still waters for the nurseries? Maybe they want really rough water because they don't want any um, I, like I'm trying to think anything preying on them and they're like, we want to, you know, toughen up our kids. So we're going to go in the roughest water possible so that whenever we're laying our eggs or their babies, they're experiencing it. I doubt it. But once again, Dee's making that assumption that we know that the water birds are looking for still waters. E, water birds are typically much more abundant in areas that serve as nurseries for juvenile water birds than in areas that do not. Well, this does not this would actually almost like weaken it or it goes against one of our claims because we say that um, the water birds in our neighboring islands or on Shooter's Island are the same number. So 
they if this was really serving as a nursery the birds on shooters island should actually be much more abundant than the neighboring islands and so if i was going to go back to b and c um i can see like how b could be like tempting but just just because it makes the study a little bit more valid it's nowhere near as strong as saying hey we know that water birds use still waters for their nurseries and so if there are more juvenile birds in around Shooter Island, and we know that these are, um, this is still water, I think we can assume that the reason that there are so many juvenile birds there is because the water birds are um, wanting to use it for their nursery, which is what answers choice C helps us get to. All right, I hope this helps.